What is going on everyone? How are you guys all doing? Today we're going to be going over this photo that I, this is just outside my window. I feel very blessed to be able to look out my window and just be able to look all the way across and see what's going on. So uh, this was obviously right when a storm was coming in and uh, things were going to get pretty crazy here. So let me go ahead and start off by grabbing the straighten tool. Let's go ahead and just straighten that and automatically add in a lens correction. I think this was what 26 millimeters so that's pretty wide. So my goal with this photo is one to deal with the, the noise here and two I want to try and pull out this right here this ferris wheel and also pull out here storm so this is going to require a lot of contrast and probably some different layer adjustments so let me go ahead and come here to the contrast well no we'll come here to come here to the curves first and let's go ahead and just kind of crunch some of this back all right so before curves after curves automatically a better result as much as the light is concerned not quite what i was hoping for for the houses down here let me go ahead and decrease some of the black to bring back some lightness here because if i increase the exposure we're going to start running into overexposure in the sky okay let me also increase some saturation Ooh, way too much i think like 12 that's pretty good let me go ahead and add in the local contrast. Um, I'm actually not going to noise reduce this just yet. Let me go ahead and actually let's go ahead and come here to color toning. And here where it says C, let's turn on the equalizer. And then let's grab our color picker and holding down control. Let's add in a few points. So now if I grab the outside, let me turn the color on here. Yeah, green. Green is good. Go ahead and turn that off. Oops. So I'm using the mask here so that only the this area is going to be affected. I know I've turned it to green just so I can see what I'm doing. If I turn on the mask, you can see here. We can use these little curves. Okay, there we go. Actually, that doesn't look too bad, even if we turn on the mask blur a little bit. You know turn everything green turn everything blue but uh, i want to really bring out the orange hue in the sky there i also feel like then we can increase the saturation and increase the slope as well okay so now let's go ahead and open this up in gimp and you know what i'm going to come back here and i'm going to turn off the color toning so that I've got an unaffected unaffected Ferris wheel and then I'm going to open that one up as well and then I can drop this right on top of that and go ahead and close this down first let's work on some masking so let me go ahead and add in mm, a black mask and then hit P on my keyboard and really increase my brush size and make sure that white is selected there and let's go ahead and de uh, go ahead and just get rid of all of that yellow color there. And if you want to see what you're doing, um, you can turn the masks on by hitting Alt and then clicking on the mask. And then you can just see the white and black image. There we go. Now, right here, obviously, this has not been done really well. Let me actually get rid of that too. And that's because what I wanna do is turn the black back on, but then take my brush opacity and turn that down to maybe 25%. And then I can just slowly paint just so that we're not fully, fully getting rid. It's kind of a gradient here. Now let me grab this layer and let me turn on colors and curves. So I've grabbed the top layer and now I'm going to add in 
actually let me uh, before I do this let me control shift D duplicate this and I'm gonna turn off the bottom layer actually no I'm gonna get rid of oops get rid of that layer mask by right-clicking and click delete layer mask and then I'm gonna turn it off now I'm gonna grab this one this top layer right here and come here to colors and curves see what I'm doing here let me go here to blue and let me increase the blues here click OK now take that duplicated image let's put it on top and add in a layer mask black full transparency and then let's grab our gradient tool by hitting G and let's go ahead and add in a gradient right here something like that so now the houses are all good We've kind of separated out the picture we've got houses down here we have the ferris wheel over here and then we have the warm sky over here so I'm gonna go ahead and duplicate all of these images and then I'm going to combine them all. So take the bottom image and the one above it and merge that down and then merge the top image down. Now we have one image. So let's do some final adjustments. Let me come here to the exposure and let's increase the exposure a little bit now. Let's come here to the levels and add in a little more contrast. And then finally, finally, let's come up here to the hue chroma and increase the chroma ever so slightly. You can see what happens when we really increase it. So just, just, just a little bit. Okay. So that's pretty good. Let me zoom in here. You can see we've got a lot of noise. So the first thing I'm going to do is come here to filters, uh, enhance, and noise reduction. And I'm going to increase this to ten, maybe. Next, I'm going to hit the forward slash on the keyboard, and that's going to bring up the search actions box. And I'm going to type in symmetry or symmetric nearest neighbor, that's what you want. And you can see that's where the real noise reduction happens. So if you change the pairs, the pairs kind of uh, changes what GIMP looks at in regards to how it blends things together. And then we'll go ahead and click OK. So now I've got this image and it looks, uh, you know, pretty good. So I'm going to go ahead and turn all of this back on and grab this image right here, the top image, and add in one more layer mask. Because I don't feel like down here, this is dark enough where these houses are, that that really needs a whole lot of noise reduction. So let's go ahead and bring in a gradient again, and this time grab from the top down. But you can even see up here in the sky, we still have a lot more to go. So let's go ahead and just duplicate this image, Control Shift D. And then let's go here to filters, blur, Gaussian blur. This is just easy and just increase the, the blur quite a bit. This is not a great way to do noise reduction, but that's kind of what noise reduction is, is it's selective blurring. So now I've blurred that. And uh, actually, that's giving me a great idea. Let me go ahead and add in one more gradient. Just want to make sure that. So last but not least, yes, let me go ahead and duplicate this image. I'm just trying to think out loud. Yeah. Um, so let's go ahead and duplicate this one and this one. And we can merge them down and merge that down and merge that down and then we can duplicate that and merge that down okay so now i've got this image 
And one cool effect we can do is do a miniature effect. So Control Shift D, duplicate that top layer, and then add in a um, layer mask. We'll do white full opacity. And then I'm going to alt click on the layer mask and come here to the gradient tool. And then I'm going to select a gradient, but I'm going to select a bilinear gradient. And we need to go ahead and switch this around here. Uh, well, this will work too. I was thinking that we could have the black in the middle and then the white on either side, but that's okay. So let's go ahead and add that in. And now if I alt click, you can see nothing has happened. But if I come here to the lower, the image underneath uh, my top image, and then I come here to filters, blur and Gaussian blur, we go ahead and increase that a lot. You can see that uh, there's been, that we get blurring down here and actually there's blurring going on in the sky, but you can't really tell. Let me decrease that quite a bit. Yeah, I like that. I'm just gonna redo the, uh, I'm gonna redo that blur or that mask. All right, I like this. The only thing that I wanna change is I just want to come here to colors, brightness and contrast, and just increase the brightness. And then of course you have to increase the contrast too. I'll just leave it like this. So I hope this has been a good tutorial for you guys. I know I've had fun doing it. I hope you guys can like, comment, and subscribe if you so choose. If not, that's totally okay. I also hope you guys are staying safe out there and uh, keep taking pictures. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next time.